around the world. This is Casey Nielsen Martin. I am so excited. Grab your favorite cup of OG. I've got a cup of black coffee right now, and I gotta tell you, I just popped a couple of mycelium and spores. I am so fired up, focused, and dialed in for tonight's call because in my 10 years of being involved in the business, um, you're going to meet tonight one of my favorite stories in the business. Um, her story is so inspiring. I am so proud of this incredible young woman and the business she's built, the person she's become, the ways in which I've seen her grow and contribute and serve. And, and you, I tell you what, you are in store for a treat tonight. So if you're a note taker, grab a pen and paper. If you're not a note taker, don't worry. The call will be recorded so you can come back and take notes at your own pace later. But we are going to take you from all around the world. I know we have people dialed in um, from dozens of different countries, different languages. We want to welcome you all. And we are going to take this call this evening to the beautiful state of Wisconsin to an amazing young woman, Miss Rebecca Woolman. Welcome to Conversations on Success. Hey, Casey, thank you. Um, I'm here, I'm not sure if I'm as fired up as you are, but I'll get there, hey. Working on my latte here. Once I have a couple of those sits down, you know, it'll, it'll the Ganoderma will do its, its magic, right? <laughs> I love it. It's kind of hard to be as excited as I am. I'm always this way because, um, you know, I, I look at where Organo is headed, where we've come from, and you've been such an integral part of this business. Um, for those of us who don't know you, for people who are like, wow, I've never heard the name Rebecca Woolman and Organo before, walk us through a little bit of your journey of how you got started, where you were at, you know, emotionally, financially, um, when you first heard about Organo, and tell us a little bit about getting started in this business. Oh boy, um, when did we start? Back in 2011, so I think, I think we're having our eighth anniversary this year, yay! Um, so eight years ago, and it would have been in May, so this month, um, Miss Mary Esch, a wonderful lady who kind of left us and moved out to Colorado to, I think, she's, I think she moved out to the leadership, I'll have to give her that one. Um, but she introduced us starting in May of 2011 um, to Organo, and for three months I, I told her no um, for the simple reason she kept introducing coffee to us, and I'm like, I'm not a coffee drinker. I, I'm not sure what you want me to do, sweetheart. Um, I remember one evening, it was a Sunday evening, and we were over to her house, and she had us over for pretzels. She makes the most amazing pretzels, by the way. And I was thinking, okay, she's having us over for pretzels and we're going to get to know her some more. And here she comes out and she starts talking about Granoderma and Organo. And that's how we used to pronounce Ganoderma, by the way. I did that on purpose. Um, but she started talking about Organo and she was fired up and she was just going on and on. And I kind of just rolled my eyes at her and I looked at her husband and Amos goes, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but Mary Ash, bless her heart, uh, she didn't stop. Um, she kept talking to us about Organo, and it was August of 2011, a day after my daughter's birthday, which I think is really special. Um, she called me up and she said, will you at least listen to a phone call? And at that time, my husband was working out of town. He wasn't home a whole lot, and we were struggling at the end of the month. We had a little bit more mon um, month than we had money, um, so we were looking for an extra 500 bucks a month just to fill in the gap so I could buy an extra pair of shoes that it's just a disclaimer. You can't tell Johnny that one. Um, and so I thought, she called me up and she said, Rebecca, will you at least listen to a phone call? And I thought in the back of my mind, okay, if I can get you off of my back, I'll do anything. I got on a phone call, which they were doing the presentation. Um, it was like 35, 40 minutes long at most, but 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes into the conversation, um, I knew I was going to do it. The lady told us, that in, with her first cup of coffee, she felt a sense of well-being come over her. And then she got into the money part, and she was talking about people making 10, 15, and 20%. So I thought in the back of my mind, okay, I've got, you know, six brothers, two sisters, mom and dad. If I can get them to switch from their coffee to my coffee, I can make 500 bucks a month. Um, little did I know, my very first meeting, five days into the business, we made 500 bucks. I'm not making an income claim because you got to go to work. And by work, I mean just share your excitement because that's literally all I did. I had no idea what I was doing, not even a clue how to pronounce Ganoderma. Um, so we just shared excitement. I had never heard of network marketing before. Um, I didn't know that I can build it. Well, I knew I could build a team, 
but I didn't quite know how it all worked. So I didn't know how the pay structure worked or all of that stuff. I didn't share that with anybody. I just shared coffee and I shared my excitement. Um, what really excites me and that I've been thinking about lately is I had made the $500 that I was looking for before I even had my product. And I was like, what, what? Um, but I called Johnny up and I told him, you know, that it, we've, that we've made that money and here we are, um, almost eight years. I can't believe in August it'll be eight years. It seems like just yesterday all this happened, even though all the growth has taken place in between, which I'm super grateful for. Um, but here we are eight years later. Um, and I believe Organo is getting bigger and better at the point where they are at right now. Um, and I want to just state this before I turn the call back over to you, that I'm incredibly grateful um, for the leadership of your, um, Mr. Steve and Deanna and you um, and Mr. Bob Rakowski and Kelly. Mr. I, I got to just say a little bit of something here. Mr. Bob Rakowski, heart, heart of gold. Um, I just have to give him a shout out because he's, he doesn't benefit off of our team but he's always willing to answer a question or help when we just send him a message or a text. And that has to speak volumes of the leadership that we have, um, the unity between the Nielsen's and, and the Martins, obviously, and the Rakowski's. And I, I just have to give a shout out to you guys. So thank you. I, I love, I love hearing your story because, you know, so many people, they, um, they think that when they share the business with someone or they share the product with somebody, that person um, has to say yes and like trip over themselves to buy a gold pack within 30 seconds of hearing um, like the, the clouds part and the angels sing. And for some of us, it's like that. I mean, my dad got that experience like, okay, it's coffee, it's business. The angels are singing. This is the business. This is what I've been looking for. For you, you said no quite aggressively for three months and then halfway through a conference call, you realized why Mary had been so passionate sharing and you came in gold that day because you wanted to get the 20%. Your goal was to make $500 a month and you did it at your first meeting. And now you're an Emerald in Organo. You've been able to travel all over the world and you've had a lot of experiences. So we're going to get into some of the skill set and the work ethic, but I want to talk about before we go into that, because you've never built this business full time. You still to this day build part time. And we're going to talk about the power of part-time because it's so important. But what are some of the amazing benefits from staying true to this journey that you and your family have been able to experience? I know before Organo, you'd never seen the ocean, had never really thought about traveling. What are some of the great things that have happened to you in your life as a result of building the Organo business? Oh, my goodness. Where do I, where do I start? Um... Wait, I'll start with the traveling, um, and here's, here's why I'll start with the traveling. Um, and I'm going to pull Dwayne in here, it's Mr. Dwayne Consaucer for a bit. Um, because when I first introduced it to them, I told them that I'm going to be traveling the beaches of the world. And he just made the biggest, he got the biggest kick out of that, made fun of me. And I told him, I'm like, I'm going to, I'm going to be traveling the beaches of the world. And I remember us uh, sitting at a softball game one day, and he was just laughing it up. He and one of our other friends, and they were kind of just, it was like, from the day I signed up to the five-day period where I made, this was me sharing about going to the beach of the world. I've never been to the beach before, never seen the ocean. And I told them, I'm like, I'm going to, and here we are, eight years later, and we've been to the beaches in Miami. We've been to the beaches in Daytona, Florida. We've been to the beaches in Cozumel, Mexico, Costa Maya, Mexico, to the Bahamas, um, Honduras. I don't know, where else were we? All over the world. Um, and I share that because if I can do it, anybody can. And it's been absolutely amazing to bring team members um, with you, to, for them to be able to see the ocean for the first time. I remember when, when I first saw it and you were telling me about how awesome it is to see somebody see the ocean for the first time. I'm like, okay, whatever. But then I experienced it with one of my team members and she came and she saw the ocean and I was just like, that's what it felt like. That's what it feels like to see someone succeed and qualify for these trips. Um, not to mention my kids love it. We got off the cruise um, in October. We were on a cruise, I think. Um, 
I think last week, October, I don't even know. Life is running all together. Um, but we got off and two days later, Javon goes, when are we going on our next cruise? And he's been asking me ever since. So he's holding me accountable to keep working for the incentive. Um, but that's the fun part of it. My kids are all in. My husband is all in, um, in the supporting of this business. And not, and put the trips aside, the confidence that I have gotten um, from this business. I, I don't want to admit it, but there was a little girl inside a grown woman's body, you know, about eight years ago. Um, and not because of, there, there's no fault going around to myself or anybody around me, but I didn't know better. I had never experienced the personal growth or um, even the even the ability to believe in myself, I had never heard of it before. I had never been, ta been taught all of that. So for me, that's super special because I, not only do I experience it, but I get to teach my children. I get to teach my girls. Um, and with Summer, Summer's 11 years old, and I was telling you on the phone how incredible um, her mental, her men mentality is already at 11 years old. I, and I keep telling her all the time, I'm like, you're learning stuff at 11 years old that mommy learned when she was 25. And that's, that's huge for me. Um, so going from traveling to the development, um, going to helping people, um, just experiencing the stories that come back and the testimonials um, that you hear from the health side of it, from the financial side of it, whatever somebody's life is in, in that point in time, it's amazing if you just sit back, put yourself aside and just, just listen. We had an incredible event, and I know we're gonna talk about that in a bit, but it really it woke me up to a sense where if I'm not giving this product to somebody else, or if I'm not introducing somebody else to this product, I am holding them, I'm, 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 not, I'm not doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to be telling them about it because I am holding something back that they could benefit incredibly from. So I hope that makes sense. I hope that answered your question as to what. Absolutely, and I know that the kids have gone to Disney World and we've traveled all over the world and just so many experiences that, you know, I don't think you would have seen for yourself and your family if not for the incredible trajectory that organo puts you on when you decide to not just be in organo but have organo be in you and you've worked this business part-time and so i really want to touch on that because i find that a lot of times people use time as their biggest excuse now we all have plenty of excuses i'm not i'm not immune to them um, I, I, I battle my own, but I think time is one that so many people are like, oh, I don't have enough time because I've got kids. Well, you, you have three kids. I don't have enough time because I work. I don't have enough time because of this, that, or the other. And I've loved how over the years you are so consistent every single week. I mean, you texted me yesterday, hey, I'm at $947 in sales this week so far. And that was a couple days ago. You're probably over $1,000 now. And it's working part time. And that, you know, so many people, they think that they either have to have the multi million dollar dream or be able to put 40, 50, 60 hours a week into the business. And if they can't do that, they just count themselves out. Talk to us a little bit about part time and what that looks like. What do you do? How do you do it? And was there ever a time when you kind of had to figure some of those things out where you were you kind of we're like, hey, I found that this works really well for me or scheduling this because um, there's so many people listening tonight, Rebecca, um, that want to be better with their time because they want to believe in the dreams they have here in Organo and they don't want to use time as an excuse. What are some of the things that have worked for you working part time? Absolutely. Um, so first of all, um, I'm going to just take the excuses of no time and just put them aside. Um, because you, we've all got 24 hours in a day. How we use those 24 hours is totally up to us. Um, I can find myself sitting on the couch watching a movie for three hours where I could have been sampling or I could have been out just meeting new people at the park or whatever it is. We all, we all have the same 24 hours. Um, right now, you mentioned I've got three kids. All three of them go to school. We have to drive a uh, half an hour to school every day. So I drive in the morning at noon because Javon only has half a day and then at night to pick them or at three to pick them up. So 
not to mention the school, they're in after school activities. They are, both my girls are in gymnastics, both my girls are doing um, piano lessons and voice lessons. I work, <laughs> I work outside of the home. Um, I'm actually going to school right now, um, which I haven't told you yet. Um, but put, just, just take this little, I'm just gonna talk about this past week. Um, studying kids, gymnastics, my kids had regionals on the weekend. And every single time I was in the car, Every single time I had one spare minute, I would pick up my phone and call somebody for an invite. Every single time. And I probably made, I'm going to say I probably made 35 to 40 calls throughout the week, give or take. Um, and that was just invites. That's not counting the people that I talked to, just getting to know new people or sampling or giving them product or sending out product. Um, but I, I believe if we just put aside the, the excuse of no time and stop, just put this down. Put, I, I find myself scrolling through Facebook way too much or, or checking my Instagram or whatever it may be. If we just learn to put that down and put our time where it's valuable, where it's actually making a difference. And so here's what I put in my mentality all week. All week. My girl, I'm, this is to me being totally um, open and raw. So my girls want to do this gymnastics camp at the end of June. It's going to cost me 1100 bucks. And Johnny told me no. He says, just because this is where we're going to cut the cost. They're doing their team and they're doing everything else. We're going to not do. And I'm like, yes, yes, we are. Well, I said, what if I go out and I sell product and I come up with the money with Organo so they can do this? So all week in my mind, my kids were in my back, in the back of my mind. Every single phone call that I made, every single no that I got. By the way, I didn't get a whole lot of no's. They all told me to call back. Um, but it, I believe if we have our why, and that why is strong enough. My why is my kids. My kids are my life. Um, if you have your why in the back of your mind, the screen will get shut off. Facebook will get shut off. Instagram will get shut off. Whatever it is, Twitter. Whatever show you're watching, they'll get shut off. If you just have a why that's big enough and you keep thinking about it, if you don't have a why, it's easy to just sit down and watch a marathon of housewives or whatever it is that you watch. I don't watch that. I don't know. But that was my mentality all week long. And guess what? In one week, I almost have enough to send them off to that camp. I'm like, okay. <laughs> So here, and, and to be honest with every single person on the line, it's not been like that for us for the past, I'm gonna say six months. Um, we've gone through a lot of transitions in our life. We, we sold our house. Um, we've lost some loved ones in the past couple months, in the past week. Um, and putting that back into perspective, I said the past week, we lost a loved one last Wednesday. So while I was in the middle of inviting people and setting up my BU um, pamper session or whatever you want to call it, call it whatever you want. We called it a ladies pamper night. Um, we lost a loved one Wednesday and I called up Casey. I, I called you up and I said, I think I want to cancel. I, I don't think I can do it. And you and Johnny both told me what a better way to spend your Friday night than with a bunch of ladies who are going to encourage you and be there for you. And, and I said, okay, I'll do it. And so going through that and realizing that, hey, I have a goal. My goal is to make 1100 bucks. I didn't know I was going to do it in one week. I'll be honest with you. We go through a lot of retail product. I, not this much, but that's okay. I'll, I'm good with that. Um, so I followed through and the pamper session ended up being absolutely amazing. It was not only encouraging for me, I was busy all day Friday. I had zero time to think, which was really good because I found myself all day Thursday at random times. I would just start crying and I had to pick myself back up. I'm like, okay, I can do this. Um, so Friday we had the session and not only was it absolutely amazing and encouraging for a bunch of women who didn't know each other. Um, there was, I think there was 14 of us. It was eight, nine, 10. 10 of us, 12 of us, I don't know, I don't even know. I think there was 10 or 12 of us. And most of them didn't know each other. Um, they were all friends of mine and people that I knew. So they came in just to see them interacting with one another and talking and getting to know each other and, 
every single one of those ladies has thanked me. Not just once, not just twice, but multiple times they've thanked me for that evening. So when you think you don't have time, think of the difference you can make in somebody's life. Um, I, I just saw a lady just this morning and she came up to me just like, my face is still so soft. And this was Friday night. She had Friday night. And I'm like, I know, right? It's amazing. Um, and I'll talk a little bit more about our BU because I am in love. Um, but going back to time, your why and knowing that you can make a difference in other people's life will help you manage your time. Whether that time is in the morning, um, I'm home all day, all morning with my little boy. So my afternoons is when I drop him off. I've got a couple hours before I got to pick them back up and run them around. The excuses are there. I can come up with a million of them. I don't want them. I want, I want the goal that I see. I want my girls to be able to go to gymnastics. I am going on the incentive trip that's coming up. I hope every single one of you and I ask who's going are raising your hand um, because it's going to be epic. Why? Because the leadership that's going to be there is going to be amazing. Um, that the leadership that has worked. Can you guys imagine all the stories and the new power and the excitement that's going to be there? I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, I have found that if I keep other people and my why in my mind in front of me, then my time management is is there. You know, that's that's so important. And I, I heard that um, that wisdom a long time ago too. Somebody told me pick a bill because when we set goals, sometimes they're so vague that there's no accountability for not reaching them. You get started in a business and you say, hey, I'm an organo, I'm gonna be a millionaire. And that's a great dream to have, but as a goal, it's so far out there, there's no accountability if you don't go talk to that person or make that phone call or ask for that sale or do that follow up or schedule a meeting. And when you've got you, you know, I heard a long time ago, and that's what you did. Pick a bill and set that bill that you have for the month as your goal to earn with your organo money because there's accountability there. You knew at the end of, at the end of May, you, you had to have $1,100 because that was the way to budget making sure your girls could go to this gymnastics camp, and you achieved it in less than a week instead of an entire month. And you have the whole rest of the month left, but you also have all these amazing stories you've collected of people who've had this life-changing experience with our product. And that's what's so cool about the business. When you keep that why in your mind, the why holds you accountable to the activity because we're all capable of doing the activity. You and I talk about this a lot, that um, one of the biggest challenges with Organo is that it's easy. It would, I, I almost feel like, um, we take for granted things that are easy and we get in that honeymoon phase and we take that for granted. And, and I feel like if the business was harder, it might actually be bigger. And I know that sounds crazy, but I think that if a gold pack costs $10,000 instead of 1300 and that it was super hard to sell, I actually think the business would grow faster because people would take it more seriously. So when you're out there and you're, you're sampling um, you know, I know when you first got started walking up to a stranger, it wasn't part of your skill set of people skills. Sales wasn't part of your skill set, presenting, putting yourself out there, building rapport, creating relationships. That wasn't your background. That wasn't your skill set. What are some of the things that, that work for you? I know you, you use your why and that's, that's so true because if you just have this scattered random why, the excuses are so much easier to pick up and run with than if you say, all right, if it is to be, it's up to me. I got to pay this car note. I got to pay the mortgage. I've got to cover this credit card debt. I've got to cover gymnastics camp. But what are some of the things that you've done as far as like sampling and collecting customers? Because you went from being, I wouldn't, I don't know if shy is the right word, but you weren't like out there going to tell the world. And now every week you're selling coffee. Every week you're sharing, um, you're sharing organo. If people know you, they know what you do. And that's something that, imagine, Rebecca, if everyone listening, if the people in their lives just knew that they were inorgano, so many people, they haven't spread the word enough in a way that suits them that people don't even know they're in the coffee business. So what, what, would, what are some of the things you've done that work for you to develop that skill set? Um, so I, I, I'm thinking I'm getting your question. I think my answer would be creating the own stories here in our house. So creating the stories here 
and then sharing them. And I just want to, I think this is a good place where a Star Achiever program will fit in. Um, because here, here's why I'm going to throw this in there, because it's $500 worth of product. 500 bucks. Doesn't even come close to what we drink every single month. I made a list before, before the call of everything that we go through in our house. Um, and it starts, it starts with yourself. What are you consuming? What are you drinking? Are you drinking the coffee, the shakes, the detox, the energy drinks? Or, or are you stopping at the nearest coffee shop? Are you stopping at the nearest gas station to pick up a monster or whatever it is? Are you stopping at the nearest whatever store it may be and picking up a product that you yourself could buy from your own company? Um, we're all OG. Our house is all OG. Um, every single morning, um, my husband and I sit down, we have our coffee, our kids have their hot chocolate, um, Javon, so a little story, um, my little guy is super duper picky, and a lot of you have heard me talk about this, um, he's super duper picky with food, he would eat carbs all day long if I chose to let him do that, all day long, he, he's, he's crazy, um, but here's what this little guy loves, he loves our chocolate shakes, calls them ice cream shakes, I'll make them for him all day long. But Mama discovered that if I just put a handful of spinach into his chocolate shake, he has no clue. No clue. So guess what? Every single morning when he has his OGX, cup of spinach, blend it up, give him his ice cream shake. Um, the girls drink shakes before um, and after gymnastics. They love the energy that they get going to gymnastics, and they love using it because they're trying to get bigger guns than their mom. Let's go slide down here. Um, but what, what are the stories that you're creating in your own home? I would have to say that's what's helping me build it because, first of all, it's exciting me because um, it's either helping us sleep. I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, it's helping us have more energy. It's helping my kids eat healthy. Um, everything. So Organo has a little post on their page of pro protein balls. Um, that you can make with our OGX. They are absolutely amazing. Guess what? My kids come home from school, they grab a couple, eat them, that's their snack. Any day, any time, I'd rather have them eat that than grab a bag of candy or chips or whatever carb it may be. They're eating shakes, they're eating protein bars. Why? Because that's what's in the fridge for them. Um, so make an effort, make an effort to have that stuff available for them. And now it's summertime, Miss Idicky, um, Nikki Idetta, sorry, I just put her name like two together. Nikki Idetta out of her Hawaii, um, absolutely love the tea that she told us all that she's mixing together, the red and green tea and steaming it. And that's what's in her fridge for my kids to drink all summer long. They pick it over soda and over juice. Put a little bit of lemon juice in there with some honey. They absolutely love it. Um, the capsules, how many of you are consuming the capsules? We take mycelium capsules every single night. My kids do, I do, because that's how we sleep. Even if we go to bed um, super late or get up super early, we're still good because the mycelium just helps us get a better night's sleep even in shorter hours. Um, so build your own stories at home. Um, build, get the excitement at home. Don't go out expecting to get a story and get excited. Get excited before you go out. Um, the ladies that were at my meeting, um, the pamper session on Friday, I saw them on Saturday and they were sitting downstairs um, and they were talking and one of them goes, I just told her you have uh, so much energy. I'm like, you know why? Because I'm all OG. I, I love, I told them I love what I do. You got to love what you do. You got to love um, your product. You got to have your own story. You got to, if you don't love what you do, you, I, my personal opinion, I couldn't do it. I got to love what I do. And I love OG. Um, so that's how I do it. I have my own story. I share stories all the time. When I see somebody that has a child that's struggling to get, like, if there's a child that comes to the gym and they're struggling because they're tired after school and don't have energy, guess what? I share my girl's story. How to drink the OG. Wide open door for me to sample people and give them the product. If you see somebody with a cup of coffee, you ask them, does the coffee ever pay you to drink or refer to friends and family? Because I have a coffee that does, you know, this is how I pay for my kids' gymnastics. This is how I pay for trips. Um, I was just, uh, was it yesterday? I was talking to somebody and they were asking me if, I'm, if I am still going to lacrosse a lot. And I'm like, no, I don't make it out of town a whole lot. And they go, except when you go on your trips. I'm like, yes, thanks to Organo. <laughs> um, so... 
have a story, work for it, um, start, start with your own. I, I was telling you on the phone earlier, and we were talking about always looking for something else, like always looking for a better cup of coffee or a better shake or whatever it may be. What, it's probably soap. It's probably, you know, whatever. Start right here. I, I'm going to use this as a pasture. I'm going to talk about cows. I'm from Wisconsin, so I get to talk about cows right now. Um, but right here is my pasture. My grass is as green as it gets right here. And I was driving to school this past week, and I saw this cow, talking about cows. And this cow was literally, she was fenced in, and she was literally on her two front feet. She was down on them, her butt sticking straight in the air, her head out of the fence eating the grass on the other side. And I thought to myself, what a perfect picture of people in not just network marketing, but in life. They're always looking for something greener. And when there's a whole bunch of grass right here. And I create my own stories right here on my grass and I go out and share them. And I just thought that was a great picture. I, would, I wish I would have stopped to take a picture of her so I can show you a picture of a cow, but it was so funny. I'm like, what? That's perfect. She's trying to get, I'm like, there's grass right there. What are you doing? Get back in. But I had to share that. I thought it was funny. So well, you told me that earlier, you know, the grass is green where it's green because of somebody's taking care of it. And, and truly, you know, knowing the value of what you're in. And I know you have something you're going to share with us a little bit later about beginnings and how to not get stuck in beginnings. And we're going to talk, we're really going to end the call with that, which is important, but it's about, I, I love stories and stories mean you don't have to be a salesperson. You know, I saw the Brennans last week doing the call and, and they're, they're like, we share because we care. And that's truly what, when you create that excitement at home, don't go looking for excitement, get excited. And then you attract that when you're out with people and now you have this business that eight years later is still strong, is still growing and is still spreading the stories and wealth. I feel like we're just getting started. I mean, eight years, we're just getting started, but there's a lot of wisdom in eight years. And I think that sometimes a great question to, to ask is if you could do it all over again, what would you have done differently? Because we have people listening that are 24 hours in the business. There are people listening that are thinking about joining the business. And then there are people in every stage, two years, three years, four years, five years. There are people listening right now that are on their absolute high. And there are people who are maybe on the roller coaster and they're kind of more in the valley right now. And so if you can look back over the last eight years, what with the wisdom you have now and the experience you have now, what would you have done differently if you could do it all over again? Um, there's a couple things. First of all, stay plugged into your plugged in upline. You're excited. You're excite, excited, plugged in upline to one that's plugged in and working the system, not just saying, oh, I'm here. I'm still here. You can call me. If they're not working, they're not plugged in. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, so stay plugged into your plug in upline and have more meetings. Um, I believe in the, the successes in the meetings. Um, to share a couple testimonies of our, our BU, and I have it here because I think it's sexy and it's gorgeous and it's all of that. Um, but our BU products are amazing. So we had a pamper session Friday night, and the ladies that showed up, um, they ranged anywhere from 30, 30 to 75 were the ranges of the, the ladies that showed up. And they showed up, they came in the room, and I, and I, just, I just told them, okay, I'm going to make you all comfortable right away. Um, I would love for you guys, I want to be, for you to be able to experience the product tonight, but we're going to have to remove our makeup. And I asked them if they were okay with it. But I told them before, I told them that, I told them I'll lead. I said, I showed up here tonight with zero makeup on because I don't expect you to do anything that I won't do myself. So I'm here. I said, I'm raw. I've got zero makeup on. I will say I've got my bee venom mask going on. So I do have that on. Um, but they were all okay with it. Every single one of them, they loved it. Um, we went through, we actually did the whole thing. We did the mask, the, the cleanse, the mask, the serum and everything. And one of the ladies came to me after and she said, and she asked me how long I've been doing the business. And I said, eight years. And she told me that she, she believes the reason I am as successful as I am is because I'm willing to lead first. 
And it kind of struck me. I'm like, okay, so be willing to lead. I'll say that tonight. Be willing to lead. And by that, I mean be willing to use the product, be able to have the meeting first, be, be the one um, to call your upline, to lead by that example, be the one to, um, to excite your team, but don't let that be the pressure because they should excite themselves. They should motivate themselves. Be the one that reads a book. Um, be the one that is into personal development and becoming who you can be. And be, be the one. Be the one who is first. Um, there's times where, I'll be honest, I just sit back and I'm just like, okay, lead, just, just go, just do it. I'll be over here. I'll be comfortable. It's not comfortable because in my mind, everything else is going on but, but being comfortable because I'm supposed to be out there sampling. I'm supposed to be doing meetings. I'm supposed to be calling Casey. I'm supposed to be reading this book. Um, but just a couple testimonies from this, um, from the BU product. So I didn't know, but did you guys know that the ho-ho, I'm going to totally butcher this word, the jojoba oil um, helps your nails grow. It's amazing. I didn't know. I was driving to school this week and I'm like, wow, my nails are really long and didn't think nothing of it. I just thought that's, that's like really not me. My nails are always short and broken off and just not, not nice. I would never show them to people. But I came home and I did some research on our um, back office. I just looked at the ingredients and what the jojoba oil does and it says it supports nail and hair growth. I'm like, well, that answers my question because every time I would do my face, I would take whatever's left and just kind of just rub it into my hands or whatever. Um, so just a couple of testimonies. I am not wearing any concealer, no foundation tonight. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, I was telling Johnny earlier, I said, you know, you've wanted me to be without makeup for as long as I can remember. Now I can because I'm confident in my own skin. I don't need this fake thing put on. Um, and I'm not saying makeup is bad because whatever. If you want to wear makeup, wear makeup. I don't want to. Um, my mom is going to be 70 this year, and she's never worn makeup, never in her whole life. So I want to be like her. I don't want to think I need it. Um, and the late, two of the ladies that bought the set from me, one of them is going to be 70 um, on Thursday. So we're going to be celebrating her birthday. And the other one was 75. And both of them came to me, not just that night, but the next day, and they thanked me for inviting them. They said, your timing is impeccable. They said, we, both of them separately, they, this was not them together. They said, we have been thinking this week that we should be checking into getting a new moisturizer. So I guess my point of sharing that is stop judging people or stop thinking that somebody's not going to want it or going to want it. Just, just share it with everybody. Just let everybody know what you've got. If they don't want it, so be it. We had some ladies that came, they got the facial, they absolutely loved it, they didn't buy, so what? It's their choice. And so what I would do different, I know I went totally on a rabbit trail here, but what I would do differently if I could, I would have more meetings, I would plug in more, and I say that all the time. It's something I'm learning, it's a process, it's growth. Um, I would read more books. I would sample more people. And that's crazy because I sample a whole lot of people. Um, but I would do more. Um, I wouldn't be scared of what other people think. Because quite honestly, it's nobody's business. What I do, what I say, what I, what I think, nobody. It's my life. And this has been an eight-year process of growth for me because it's been one of my hardest. I've always been a pe people pleaser. I've always wanted everybody to love me, and I don't care if they do or if they don't. I want them to, but that's up to them. So do more. Do, do more sampling, more plugging in, more meetings, um, more personal development. What book are you reading today? Um, I'm reading Leader Shift by John C. Maxwell. It's one of his newest books, and it's absolutely amazing. He's talking about um, growth versus goals, um, the, the mindset there, and it's out of this world amazing. So that's a book I recommend. I love it. I love that you're here doing conversations on success, a call, a video call that's going to go all over the world, and you're not wearing any makeup because you're comfortable in your skin because of BU. And so I look at like, oh my gosh, we've started with these amazing core products of coffee, and coffee is still that core. It's so conversational. It's such a great foundation 
to build a business on. And who would have thought that a natural organic skincare line would pair so great with it. And I just continue to be floored by how excited people are about it. And like you said, um, you know, we had a, a couple of pamper parties, um, Deanna and I, and, and everybody's like, oh, I'm looking for natural skincare. This is the perfect timing. I was just saying, you know, I just read something about, you know, toxic skincare and I'm looking for something natural and everybody has loved it. And some of the ladies, you know, it's been a very wide variety of people who've fallen in love, people who love makeup and they just, they love everything about, you know, the femininity of all of that. And then other people who are like, oh, I never wear makeup and never really thought about my skin, but I also love it and I'm willing to buy. So the customer range is all over the place and that's really amazing and it's become great. And I, and I want to, you know, make sure that people aren't missing that, men included, um, we have male customers that are loving, male customers that are loving how great their skin is on the skincare. But ladies, if you've like, hey, listen, I've, I've had my mixers and maybe they went the way you wanted them to go or didn't go the way you wanted. First of all, you've got to stay working. It's kind of like going to the gym, right? It, you, you see somebody who puts on 50 pounds in five years and they go to the gym, they work out once and they're like, how come I didn't lose 50 pounds in one day, right? Well, you didn't put it on in 50 days. You're not going to, you're not going to lose it in in that same amount of time. And I think of that with the business because people are starting, stopping, starting, stopping. And the real success is in the consistency, the weekly sharing, the weekly meetings. You talked about leading by example. So guys, if you're listening in and you haven't done a pamper party because maybe you're nervous, I was super nervous. Um, you know, I was like, man, I'm not a skincare expert. I've never been really into skincare. I always had skin that I was more embarrassed of and tried to hide behind. So I was the one who didn't want to wear makeup but piled it on because there was so much redness, so much scarring. And I never realized, because I consider myself a pretty confident person, but I never realized how much that really truly affected the way I put myself out to the world and to, to feel my skin healing and to see it repairing. It's so liberating. And so, you know, we dove into the deep end of the pool and we had our first skincare party and, and didn't really know how to do it, but we did it anyway. I believe in learning how to swim while in the pool, not outside the pool. And I think that that's, so key and organo and you know I thought I messed up and made all these mistakes and then we had three skincare sets sold a gold pack sign up and we weren't even talking about the business and it was like oh my gosh it works if you work it and so you know put yourself out there you said if you could do it over again you would have been the one to lead instead of sitting back and being like okay somebody else take the lead and I'll be part of it you would have taken the lead on a little bit sooner so I hope that you know somebody listening today says okay I don't know what I'm doing but I'm going to invite some ladies over. We're all going to try to skincare, support each other, be there for each other, and watch the sales come in because I am floored by these ladies who are, I mean, Alice and, and Blanca just running these huge skincare parties and people are forking over two, $300 for a skincare set without blinking an eye. They're already paying that on skincare and it's a great gateway to just continue to build the business. And so I, I, I love the skincare parties. I love that you know, you're talking about the growth that you've gone through and the things that you're reading and, and the work ethic of, of building this business. And you've seen it pay off with your with your girls. You've seen them um, instead of quit, instead of giving up during the struggles, they look at mom and, and mom keeps going through the, the easy times and the challenging times. And, and they've taken that on and created this mentality. And now you guys build this business as a family. It's not just mom's business. It's your whole family is cheering you on because they get to travel with you and they get to go experience these things. But you were talking to me a little bit earlier um, today about something about beginnings and how so many people get stuck in beginnings. And I definitely want to make sure we have time for you to share that part and, and kind of share with the group what you were talking about earlier. Awesome. I want to just piggyback a little bit to the pamper parties. Um, so when I did my pamper party, I didn't even pronounce words correctly, just so y'all know. I, you don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed to do this. Um, I slaughtered some of the words. And there's this word, I think it's called, it's um, the, what is the honey called? The manuka or something? So I was, I could not for the life of me figure out how to say that. So every time I would go, mm, then the whole, all the ladies would say the name with me just to. So make it fun. Don't pretend you're some expert. I started out, I told them, you know what, I'm not a skincare expert. I'm going to butcher some of these words when I'm going to say them because I have no idea how to say them. All I know is it's made me look like this. So you need to try it. 
Um, so be excited. Don't don't make yourself look like something you're not. I'm. I've never worn before Organo. I never wore makeup. Um, not because I didn't want to. I just didn't know how to. Um, before Organo, I had never heard of like cleansing your skin and moisturizer. It was always just lotion on there and cleaning it off. That was me. It was just like I had no idea. So. That's what I shared with them yesterday. I'm like, this is who I am. I'm not trying to be some expert. But what we also did is we had all the products out for them. When they first showed up, I gave them a wine glass that had um, green tea in it with lemon in it. Um, they drank their, their um, green iced tea. And while they were waiting for their masks to be done, they had shakes. Anna, was, Anna Klein Saucer was there and she helped whip up some chocolate shakes and strawberry fresh vanilla shakes and they tried the coffee, they tried everything. If I didn't have the product, I wouldn't have been able to do what we did. Have product on hand. Um, and it was awesome to have the skincare sets there because they loved looking at the bottles and seeing how big they were and what they look like. They just they were touching them and feeling them. Just, just have it, have it there. Be willing to invest the money into your business. Um, so that was just my take on that. I thought I, I just wanted to make sure you guys know I, if I can do it, ever everybody on the line can do it. Trust me, trust me on that one. Um, I should have Anna chime in and just share some of the, some of the words that I shared there. I'm like I don't even know what I said, um, but here we are. We sold three skin, um, three of the skincare sets. Um, we sold grapeseed. We sold coffee. We signed up a new pro, a uh, new um, product pack. It works. We just have to work. Be excited. Be who you are. Just share your stories. Um, but going back, so I found this article online because I'm a John C. Maxwell fanatic. Um, I've got like 50 of his books. I absolutely love his, his work. Um, and I found online something that really hit me. I read it and I'm like, ugh, this is so many people that I meet, including myself at times but I don't want to be that person. I don't want to be like this. Um, so give, bear with me. Give me about five minutes, seven. I don't know how long it's going to take me. Hopefully I won't slaughter the words and I'll make them right. I'll pronounce them correctly. But it really hit me and I wanted to share it tonight because when we start something, that's just the start. What are we... What, why did we start? What are we going to do about starting? What are, what are the actions that we're going to take? And it really hit me because I don't want to be just a starter. I want to finish. I, I have a goal in mind, and I'm not, it, it's a goal. It's out there, but that's not my focus because my focus is my actions. My focus is what I'm doing today. My focus is sampling. My focus is, you know, doing more meetings. Um, and by the way, when we did our pamper session, I didn't even talk about the business. I sold a pack. You don't have to. Don't have to. You don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed. Ms. Ms. Deanna Nielsen says it all the time. You don't have to be the sharpest tool in the shed, but even a hammer is being used to build a house, right? So here we go. Whew. Quitting is more about who you are than where you are. It's by John C. Maxwell. And he wrote, back in December, I wrote about the importance of starting well. In the comments, many people agreed with me, but they also pointed out that the critical nature of continuing after you start. They were right. Like I said at the time, starting and finishing are the two covers of the book. The main part, the pages, our actions, our sampling, our meetings, our follow-ups, represent the day-to-day -day labor needed to achieve your goal. Unfortunately, in many ways, starting is the easy part. Rolf Waldo Emerson, by the way, this is where Casey said it's easy because it only costs 1300 bucks. I think it'd be a lot more success if there was 10000 because we take it more seriously, to be honest with you. Okay, I'll stop and I'll read. Um, unfortunately, in many ways, starting is the easy part. Rolf Waldo Emerson observed, the great majority of men are bundles of beginnings. That was like an ouch to me. Because the next question is, what about you? Are you merely a starter? When the, when the enthusiasm for a new idea fades and the passion cools, when the odds against you increase and the results diminish, when it looks as if success is impossible, will you maintain your intensity and keep going? Are you tenacious? 
Consider the fact that Admiral, Admiral, blah, 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 Admiral Robert Perry attempted to reach the North Pole seven times before he succeeded. Oscar Hammerstein produced five shows that were flops on Broadway before staging Oklahoma, which had a record-breaking run of 2,212 performances. Thomas Edison failed in his attempt to create the workable light bulb 10,000 times before creating one that finally worked. To achieve your dream, you need to be able to keep going when others quit. Keyword. Quitting is more about who you are than where you are. Everyone faces difficulty when working toward a dream. And if someone fails, they can make excuses for what went wrong, how the unexpected happened, how someone let, them, let him down, how circumstances worked against him. But the reality is that the external things do not stop people. Those who achieve their dreams don't have an easier path than those who do not. They just have the different internal attitude about the journey. The greatest artist, the great artist, Leonardo da Vinci, once declared, obstacles cannot crush me. Every obstacle yields a stern resolve. He who is fixed on a star does not change his mind. The one who achieves the dream sees the journey differently. Instead of thinking, not enough people believe in me, I'll never make it, he says, my belief in myself is enough, I can make it. And instead, instead of, it's taking too long to realize my dream, she reminds herself, dreams are realized one day at a time. Rather than enough is enough, I've taken enough hits, she declares, I've come too far to give up now. Instead of, I don't have the strength to hold on to my dream, he tells himself, hold on a little bit longer. The darkest hour comes just before the dawn. Novelist Harry, Harriet Beecher Stowe said, when you get into a tight place and everything goes against you, till it seems as though you could no longer hang on a minute longer, never give up then, for that is just the place and time when the tide will turn. Oh, how I love H.E. Jensen expressed an achiever's way of thinking. The man who wins may have counted, have been counted out several times, but he didn't hear the referee. The only real guarantee for failure is to stop trying. So when things go wrong, when the obstacles seem too great, when the difficulties get to be too much, when your dream seems to be impossibly far away, your job is to simply keep going. If you stop, it won't be because of what happens around you. It will be because of what happens in you. Choose to see things differently. Success is probably closer than you think. Just keep moving forward. And I thought that was a great way to end the call tonight. Um, don't quit. Don't give up. Keep moving. Keep moving. Success is three feet away. Three feet away. So. I, I love that, you know, Emerson saying most men are just a bundle of beginnings and there's so much victory in following through and seeing something all the way through to completion and the growth that you become. Jim Rohn talked about it's who you become. Um, don't wish that things were easier, wish that you were better and, and going through that process and what Organo allows with this mission and our life changing products and our life changing products allow this culture to come together to help change people's lives because people need better health, they need more opportunity, and they also need better people. People who uplift them and help them see that, hey, out of this 168 hours a week that we all have, what, what amount of hours and contribution are we doing to becoming better, to making our lives better, to making each other better? And when you can help somebody change their environment and you can start adding positivity and inspiration and leading by example and health and wellness to help them think clearer and, and you're attracting great minds like Dr. Rakowski and Dr. Patel and so many amazing people and, and what we're doing in Africa, what we're doing in, in Europe, what, what's being done in Asia and, and South America and all over the world, we are just getting started on this mission. And so, you know, some of the things that are really standing out about your call tonight is find that why. Find something that you can emotionally attach the activity to so that you don't stop. Because if you never attach that activity to that accomplishment, something that's, you know, 
having to look at your girls and tell them once you decided, hey, mom's going to sell enough product to send you to camp. It's it's not about the camp. It's about using the camp to hold yourself hostage to actually putting in the activity that you know you should be doing anyway. But you have to use your emotions for you to win, not against you. And that's so powerful. And there's so many amazing events. If there's not an event in your area, you be the event. You be the event. I know, you know, we had uh, we have some some chats that go on amongst the leaders. And, and Dr. Bob was saying, you know, the Brennan's invited 120 people, only four people confirmed. And yet they had 60 plus people attend the event. And maybe you don't start there. Maybe you're not starting with 120 people. But if you're going from zero people to calling five people, the ticket is have a meeting. You've got to have a place for these people to come because your dreams and goals know if you're not really serious. They know if you're not really committed, if there's nothing on the calendar and you won't attract the things necessary to win the way you deserve to win by putting in the work. And there are events everywhere. Hit my OG Academy. You're seeing events in Spanish, you're seeing Blanca, there's a major event taking place in Houston. If you're anywhere in the surrounding area by blood, by bus, by taxi, by car, by skateboard, if you can get to this event, we've got Paul, we've got Blanca, we've got Dr. Bob, it's going to be an absolutely incredible event. Um, Dr. Bob and I and, and Miss Diane Solano and the Canadian team were headed up to Canada. We haven't even announced it yet, but Dr. Bob Rakowski is coming to um, Colorado and there's so many other events out there that I don't even know about. You just go to my OG Academy on Instagram or on Facebook. Be sure you're opening your emails. Everything you need to win is right there. You just have to make sure you're plugged in. Like Rebecca said, plug into that information and get out of your comfort zone a little bit. Remember, to learn how to swim, you got to get wet. Get in the pool. Invite some people. Get some no's. Get some yeses. You never know when that next breakthrough story is around the corner. Rebecca Woman said no to Mary Esch for three months. She said, I don't drink coffee. I'm not looking for anything else to do. I'm already busy. She said no for three months and then got on a conference call, put together a Zoom call, put together a conference call, put together a one-on-one, -on -one. go out and serve people because you care about them and, and getting excited. And so, you know, Rebecca, I appreciate you, you know, sharing your eight years of experience and excitement and just authenticity. And I, I love the growth that I've seen in you as a businesswoman, as a mom, as a wife, as a friend, as a person, you know, just authentically saying, this is who I am. And when I, when I share who I am with the world, that's what works. And so any last words of wisdom on our call tonight before we close out? The only thing I want to say is Unite is coming up in September. Get your tickets. They're, they're opening an email. Send out an email. Get your ticket to Unite. Can't wait. It's going to be amazing. That's all I've got to say. Get your tickets. I agree. We can't wait to see you at Unite. And remember, the double points for promotion packs is still in effect for the incentive. So go out there and give May your best shot because we will see you at the events all around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Bernie Chua. Thank you, Rebecca. And thank you to each of our listeners.